Okay guys, it is the 25th of April. Um, I want to go over a few things in this video. So I've, also, I've already brought up the subject of dealing with a small trading account um, and how to build it through compounding. So what I've done and what I'm going to continue doing um, is follow on with that idea basically. So first things first, when you're trading the FTSE 100, which is what I trade, with IG, we have minimum position of two pound per point. And um, what I would say is that over the course of the year, your average stop, for, well, for me at least with my trading methods on the FTSE 100, is usually 25 points. Now, sometimes the stop will be more than that, sometimes it will be less than that. However, on average, I'd say it's it's usually around about 25 points. So that means our risk is going to be £50. Pounds. If we take um, good risk management, I always say, you know, risk 1%, never risk more than 2%. Because this is a small account, we'll say we're risking 2%. So really, the account size needs to be 2500 at a minimum. So, trading that account, I've already showed you with compounding how to build it. What I'm going to start doing is go a little bit more in depth um, and showing you how it works over time. So, the only issue I have with trading a smaller account, I've already mentioned this in other videos, is I can't trade it full time, clearly. I can't live off of an account that's trading £2 per point. But what I can do is try and take, um, you know, really one trade a day, I would say, um, sometimes more it just completely depends on the trading day first and foremost I need to trade my normal account and um, I also want to show you this small account also so um, great thing about trading a small account is you can build your discipline um, build your knowledge base without losing great deals of money the downside to trading a small account is you can't live on it, can't live off of it, and also you can't close out partial positions. So, for example, this morning I took a short position with the small account, um, and I closed out at around about plus 10 when I was expecting this market to come down further, just because you can't close out partial positions with the small account. So you just have to build um, slowly. With the compounding, what I did was showed you how it, how it would work with 8% gain per month. So that's really 2% a week you're looking for. And um, if 25 points is 2%, really it's 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 ending each day up 5 points. Some days you some days you'll make more than that, some days you'll make less than that, but that again that's the average you're looking for 5 points. Now, what I also want to show you is the damage that can be done when you start deviating from your plan, when you start letting emotional trading take over. So what I've done is I've sort of replicated it for you so I can talk you through it and show you the impact it can have on your trading. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to bring up the, the small YouTube account and um, profit and loss from last week. And I'm going to talk you through it and sort of try and um, go over the mindset of people that, that do this and show you what it can do to your account. Okay guys, so let's bring up this account. Um, so first thing we can see is it's £2 per point. That's what I'm going to be trading for this small account. It will grow as compounding takes effect and the account starts to grow in size. What we have here is last week. Now this is last week basically traded properly. This is all the trades, following my trading plan, using my discipline, um, this is what you should be seeing. So what we can see is plus £74, so really that is plus 3%. Now, what I find happens a lot with traders, um, either if they have a run of success like this, or even if they just have a simple losing trade like this. Um, the rules go out the window. I always say how important 
important it is to follow your rules and the drastic effect that revenge trading and emotional trading can have on your account. What I've done is I've tried to replicate that. I've thought to myself, or I've, you know, this is what I'm trying to show you. I've thought to myself, um, I've had such a good week. I want to keep this going. You know, I've made my target for the day, for the week, but that doesn't matter. I'm, I'm on such a good roll. I want to jump in the market again. This trade looks good. It's not a proper setup, but I'm going to take it anyway. We get stung for a loss. We're now frustrated. We've lost some of that money. We were up 3%. Now we're only up 2%. We jump in again. Trying to make this money back. Now we're getting really, really annoyed with ourselves. Um, the market's not doing what it's supposed to do. Why can't we just jump into one winning trade and make it back? If we can get one winning trade and make it back, we'll never do it again. We jump back in. And now look, we're down at less than, we're still in profit. We're down at less than half a percent profit from plus 3%. Now this is what kills you as a trader. This is what you need, need, need to stop doing. You need to address it, avoid it. Um, and, and find ways to correct yourself if you are still doing this. Following your trading plan, you know, I always repeat it, it's one of the most important things, that's why I go over it so much. This is what kills you as a trader. It doesn't seem like much, but this, repeated over and over again, is what is going to decimate your account. Because we've taken these three trades, they're not part of the trading plan, they're all losses. They're all losses that are not part of the probabilities of our system. So if our system is 70%, look, we have a normal loss here. This would be our normal system. But when you start adding in these losses also, um, you know, your, your trading plan can go from being profitable overall to being a losing system. And the problem is you start to blame the system. So although you've had these losses, you'll start looking at your system and saying, well, why is this system not making me money? It's because you're doing things like this. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful, guys. Um, it's really important. I do go over this a lot, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to help you improve as traders. Um, I'm going to try and trade this small account as often as possible, show you compounding. Um, and yeah, you know, all we're doing is we're taking... Trades that follow our plans, relatively small trades. It's a small account. We're just looking to build it over time. Um, I'm not actually sure what the account is setting at now. Let's have a quick look. So we had these losses. They're not part of my trading or really the trading account, but you know they're on there. So I'm just going to leave them on there and take that into the results. So let's have a look. Okay, so and then we just divide it by 25. So we're up 5%. And um, it's from the 19th to 25th. So it's, what is that? Six, six trading days, I think. Yeah, so Monday to Monday, basically. So six trading days. Um, up 6%. You know, we're, we're just trading small. We're just looking to build slowly. And, and this is what you can do. You're looking to build through compounding. Um, you're not looking to take crazy trades. You're looking to avoid what I just showed you like the plague. And, you know, that's trading. It doesn't matter what size account you've got. I actually find it more beneficial to start with a small account because you can be less emotionally involved and you can focus on building your discipline. Now, only it's only better with a small account if you follow the rules that way. If you start looking at it like, Oh, well, if I take this trade, it doesn't matter because I'm only going to lose £20. Clearly, all that's doing is going to build um, bad habits. Okay, guys, so that's the first video in the small account series. As I say, I'm going to try and take at least one trade 
per day with that account. Um, and we'll follow over time and we'll look at the compounding. Okay, so I hope you all have a great trading week. I'm James Orr and thank you.